Hello and welcome. My name is Dr. Rizwan Qureshi and today I'm going to be talking about pathways to come work here in Australia as a doctor. Now, number one pathway, the most popular one is the standard pathway. Now, this pathway is mainly for junior doctors who have completed the internship year one and year two as a resident. This pathway involves passing uh, AMC exam and getting an AMC certificate. You must have to pass AMC part one, which is an AMC Q based exam. And plus, you have to either do AMC clinical or a WBA in order to get a provisional registration, which will eventually lead to a full registration after 12 months. And hence, you can apply for permanent residency. This pathway is more suited to the doctors who have uh, long term ambitions to stay in Australia, join a training program, any training program in surgery, medicine, critical care, emergency, anesthesia, or ICU, pediatrics, or even general practice. And in this program, obviously, entails that you complete all the training requirements to become a specialist. Number two is a competent authority pathway. Now this program is a very popular program and it is specially designed for the doctors who have primarily qualified or done their MBBS or MD from the UK, US, Ireland, New Zealand, Canada. So this pathway is also for international medical graduates who have done the licensing exams of these countries like a PLAB, USMLE or New Zealand exam or Canadian exam. Plus they've also done a period of supervised work. Now that doesn't have to be a fully training uh, accredited job, but some period of supervised clinical work in a hospital setting. So that might be 12 months in the UK, like an NHS experience or 24 months in uh, the US in any hospital. After that, they can directly apply to APRA, which is like a GMC equivalent here for a provisional registration. After working 12 months as a provisional uh, registered doctor as a resident, they can apply for a full registration and hence after full registration, they can apply for any training scheme. So this is a good pathway for doctors who have uh, now decided to come to Australia after sp spending some time in New Zealand, UK, US, and we've got many doctors uh, through that route. In fact, this is one of the very popular pathways amongst uh, uh, the medical graduates from Pakistan, India, who have spent time in different countries and finally decided to come to Australia. The third pathway is called short term training pathway, and it's especially for the doctors who are already in training in back uh, home in their own country. And that might be a surgical training or critical care training, emergency training, pediatric training or any other medical specialties. But they would like to come to Australia for a very short time, like 12 months, 24 months or up to 36 months maximum. And they would like to either subspecialize in the area of their own expertise or some expertise which is not available in training program back home in their own country or they would like to just get an additional period of working in a very well resourced and very well running health system here in australia after the completion of that requirement they go back to their own country number fourth pathway is what we call a specialist recognition pathway now this is again a very popular pathway for the doctors who are fully qualified both by virtue of completing their fellowship or an MD exam back home in their own country plus they've completed all the training requirement of that specialist qualification plus they're working as a specialist back home in their own country for at least two years so they can apply directly to the respective colleges surgery medicine general practice or even you know emergency medicine colleges to have their qualification that is the exams and training time accredited now the college will say that your training and qualifications are either fully recognized or partially recognized depending on the circumstances. Most of the doctors who have primarily qualified in the UK and US, uh, Canada and Ireland, they are able to have their uh, qualifications fully recognized. They may have to spend a small period of supervised clinical experience here in emergency medicine or whatever the specialty is and then they can apply for a specialist registration by APRA and then they can practice as a fully qualified specialist. Now, I do know a doctor from Pakistan who qualified as a radiologist uh, doing her training program Mayo Hospital and she's working as a consultant after only doing a fellowship in radiology here, exam that is. The training time was 100% accredited. Also known an orthopedic surgeon who's working here uh, as a foot and ankle surgeon who did most of his training in Mayo Hospital Lahore again in a well-structured program he had to do a part of his training and the fellowship uh, exam in orthopedics here in Australia and is working as a consultant orthopedic surgeon here in Sydney, Australia. The final pathway is more about the GPs. The GPs who have done uh, their practice for at least two or three years but not qualified and by way of exam. So they've not actually done MCPS, FCPS or any of the specialist GP exams like MRCP GP exam. Now, 
they can come via a mixed pathway which is known as a pesky pathway which is pre-structured uh, yeah pesky p employment structured clinical interview so what does it entail that they first have to pass the amc1 which is the mcq exam and then they have to do a specific interview which is a pesky interview through one of the clinics here or gp practices who are struggling to find doctors they might be in the regions they might be rural and some of them could be even in an urban setting they will give you a job after you pass the pesky interview and they you will get a registration specifically for that practice now after completion of that area it is not a permanent pathway you still have to do amc2 it's not a long-term settlement pathway if you want to join the proper training of the general practice or you want to become a fully qualified general practice there might be other there are other pathways in within that area to complete your further training in general practice and to be qualified as a fully trained uh, general practitioner i hope this uh, you know, clear some of the doubts regarding the various pathways of coming and working here in Australia. If you need any question answered, please drop them in the comment section below. I'll leave various links in the description of this video. Also, if you need assistance in terms of your CV, medical career guidance specifically to you, please drop us an email at info at emergencyfocus.net. I do provide a lot of guidance, one-on-one -on -one guidance uh, with the CVs, with the application forms, with the you know, specialist recognition pathway, what is the best suitable option for you, but you have to book an appointment for that. Look after yourself and each other. Take a good care of yourself. Thank you very much.